Let's talk about Sprout Social. So the thing is, this is an excellent social media tool, but is the huge subscription worth it? Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. In today's conversation, we want to talk about Sprout Social. This is a review of the platform. This is a, an excellent social media tool, but is the huge subscription worth it? Let me give you an overview here. So, what is Sprout Social? So, this is a social media management tool. Okay, but it's more like a social media management suite. Okay, so it is basically a web and mobile application broken up into a few different tools for managing your social media schedule, inbox, mentions, and analytics. Okay, so this is really important. So for core social media, the, the app supports Instagram business accounts, Twitter, Facebook pages, Pinterest, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And when you connect the profile, you also notice the ability to connect accounts from Google My Business, Google Analytics, TripAdvisor, and Glassdoor. So they really actually cast a wider net here, okay? So here is a fuller overview of the features Sprout Social has to offer. So you have you can publish, schedule, draft, and queue posts, social content calendar, content library, suggested send times. You can monitor mentions also, this is really important. You can engage with messages. You have AI generated canned responses, so artificial intelligence generated canned responses. You can monitor and engage with with the reviews. You have alerts for increased message activity. They have a proprietary boat builder for chat management. You have uh, auto tagging for in, in inbox for message messages, uh, message types, profiles, and keywords. You select. You have to select those though. They can help. The tool can help you monitor profiles and keywords. You have CRM tools that allow multiple team members to track conversation history, contact information, and other notes for customer interactions. You have reports for individual profiles, competitive profiles, specific post types, Twitter keywords, and hashtags. And they also have uh, tags for content and reports, feedback surveys for Twitter, analytics for your team's performance, integration with help desk and CRM software. So this is really good, okay? One thing you need to understand is that not all of these features are available in every plan that Sprout Social has to offer. You have to be very specific about the plan that you, you pick. So, and uh, so the features are really important. So some of the features include the dashboard, the publishing, smart inbox, social listening, and reports. So, and we also love the fact that you can actually uh, sign up for a 30-day free trial, no credit card required, okay? So they want you to put your name, email address you have to link your social media accounts you have to log into your newly created accounts you have to request access request more access select facebook accounts pages to link to and if the connection is successful you can link five social media channels facebook instagram linkedin twitter and the pinterest by facebook i mean meta okay and you want to indicate more information about your account and more information again. So this will actually help Sprout Social customize your user experience. Let me talk to you about the, about the features. This is important that we really pay attention to the features you get from uh, Sprout Social. So first is the dashboard. Dashboard is really critical. Now, the Sprout Social's uh, dashboard, in other words, user interface, features two menus on either side of the interface okay so the left hand sidebar has a dark style and features quick access links to the various tools the app offers including publishing social listening smart inbox and more let's first talk about the uh, the the publishing so the, and, and the thing is when we talk about the dashboard the right hand side sidebar is thinner and it has a white style so it features quick access buttons for numerous functionalities in other words you don't have to go through a convoluted process to get to some buttons okay so you can compose a new social media post you can view your, your notifications this is really important if you are handling multiple social media accounts you, you can open conversations among team members which is kind of cool for internal team collaboration 
You can view links you and your team have shared. You can connect a new profile. You can invite a new team member, okay? And what we love is that you can actually use the, the dashboard to actually search for profiles and keywords on Twitter. This is really good. You can open Sprout Social's Help Center. You can view a cheat sheet of keyboard shortcuts. And even better, you can start a new live chat session with support. So you're able to get uh, customer servicing and uh, you can get the uh, live help. So one thing you need to understand is that the center of the interface, so when you log into your, your dashboard, the center of the interface is where you will in interact with whatever part of the app you have open. Okay, so based on our analysis, Sprout Social's uh, user experience overall is great. Their, their UI is clean and easy to use. However, the quick actions sidebar menu could have been reserved as an extra menu item in the main menu on the left hand side to leave a little room a little more room for the center part of the interface in other words you just need to uh, sprout social if you listen to us what you what you want to do is you want to leave more room in the middle so that the user can actually uh, can actually uh, find the platform more interesting okay and uh, so the thing here is that you also need to uh, pay attention to your uh, your get started checklist so for new customers your get started checklist is good but it could have been, it, this could be improved because this section has a to-do list section that showcase new messages you have tasks assigned to you and approvals you need to look over but it's not clear it has to be uh, more transparent so i want to talk to you about smart inbox okay so smart inbox is another feature that you have in sprout social so what is smart smart inbox so basically this is a, a tool that allows you to monitor a constellation of message types of which you have uh, different uh, different types okay so for instagram so the the uh, things will depend on the platform you're on for instagram for example you can manage post comments add comments direct messages regular mentions story mentions and media tags okay and so, so the tag feature works in this tool as well allowing you to create an internal organization system for messages so and, and we love the fact that you and your team can also add internal conversation to individual messages. So this is kind of cool again for individual, for uh, for team collaboration, this is really good. And what we love is that the smart inbox tool is divided into different sections for private messages, messages marked as complete, and messages you have saved, okay? And your team can also reply to messages. So this is really good. And what we love is that you also have the custom views in this in the smart inbox that allow you to configure the tools view filters by message source message type and tag so you can create a custom view for each configuration you make so this is something really important okay and so and this is this is where actually uh, sprout social shines in terms of features you also have the tests so you can actually use uh, sprout social to make sure that your team members stay on task okay the, the 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 platform becomes more powerful as you add more people to your account tasks helps you uh, this feature the tasks feature helps you coordinate prioritize and assign appropriate actions to incoming messages from the smart inbox okay so you have my open tasks you can see my closed tasks and you can see all tasks across the team that way you have a bird's eye view of the task your team is currently working on this is just fantastic not only in terms of product in terms of uh, boosting your own productivity but also uh, gauging the team's overall productivity and also the feeds the feeds feature allows you to see what's happening with the people you follow on twitter or, or other uh, platforms and you can connect a twitter account to get started you can connect other accounts also to get started <music> talk to you about sprout social publishing so the thing is that you have a publishing tool that is very uh, very sophisticated and this tool is broken up into 12 different sections starting with a social media calendar okay here you can view scheduled posts in weekly and monthly formats with this calendar the thing is that this this is really great it is user-friendly 
you can see uh, you can see the the kind of dates that you want additional filters allow you to narrow your view down to specific social media profiles you can think about post types queued scheduled drafted sent needs approval so you have you can choose the category that you want to focus on and you can also uh, view the, the the calendar by tax okay and a list view is also available okay and we also love the fact that you have a volume chart that showcases the number of posts you have scheduled for the next two weeks so for the next 14 days you have a clear view of what of what, where you stand okay and uh, what we love is that uh you, you, ha you have a lot of uh features in the publishing tool so you have a calendar you have sprout Q. so basically you are filling gaps in your content calendar so you can add posts to the sprout Q, and uh, sprout will send them for when your audience is most uh, engaged you have the drafts so you can draft now publish later okay you have fine content so you have an, th this feature is kind of cool. We love that because this provides you an endless source of content at your fingertips. So you, you know what, you, what the topics that your audience cares about. You have Instagram notifications. You have a Sprout link in bio. Okay. So you can drive traffic from Instagram to your content with one link. Okay. You have post via, uh, via RS RSS. So you can keep your audience engaged with timely content. So you can automatically post new content to Twitter from trusted publishing sources via RSS. And you can all, you have also have an idea of failed post. Okay, you can update failed posts on the go. This is really important. So you can use the app to easily revise and resend, revise or resend failed post even when you are away from your computer so we love this a lot all you have to do is just to enter your phone number and sprout social will send a link to download the app okay so this is really important so when we talk about scheduling posts with sprout social you basically have a, a very solid platform to do so and uh, the platform enables you to choose from a few different options for scheduling new posts. You can, of course, publish posts immediately, but the publishing tool thrives in terms of the, the way it lets you schedule posts. Okay, you, you can select specific days and times uh, option. You also have a list of optimal, quote unquote, optimal times that will be available that will be uh, suggested to you. So this is really good. Let's talk about Intel, collecting Intel through Sprout Social. The thing is that uh, you have two ways of doing this. Within Sprout Social, there are two modules, there are two, uh, two settings that will allow you to do this. Number one, you have social listening. So this is a great tool within uh, Sprout Social because this tool allows you to set up views that enable you to monitor content posted on multiple social media platforms such as Twitter, Meta, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, Tumblr, and the web. Okay, we're talking about blog posts, news articles, forum threads, you name it. And so you're looking for a specific keywords and hashtags here, okay? So this is the whole idea behind social listening. You can even include keywords or exclude keywords to clean up your results and include keyword variations to get more results. This is really what this is really a good intel gathering um, tool here, okay? And you can filter for languages, posts that only contain images and videos, location, and posts published by verified accounts are also, um, this filter is also available, okay? So when you find a message that interests you, you can start a team conversation for it. This is really good because the brainstorming happens at that stage and, and you are basically using Sprout Social as a uh, facilitating tool, as a facilitating element, okay? So besides social listening, we got to talk about reports. So Sprout Social has reports for individual platforms that allow you to view metrics for post performance, audience growth, impressions, and more, just as any social media management tool has. Okay. However, what we love with Sprout Social is that it has a quick access. It has a few quick access buttons you can use to view specific reports. So this is really good because now you are actually we are talking about granularity we're talking about details here and these reports are divided into four categories so you have the strategy and insights you have competitive analysis you have content performance and customer care and team performance so this is really good and so they have over 20 reports that are gathered in in these categories including google analytics 
LinkedIn pages, Twitter, uh, Twitter keywords, trends and reports, paid performance, tag performance, and inbox activity. So those, so, so there you have it. So if you use these uh, tools properly, you can collect as valuable intel as uh, as you need. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie, Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm giving you in today's conversation a review of Sprout Social, and uh, I want to talk to you now about the pros and cons. So when you think about Sprout Social, what are the, the advantages and the drawbacks? First, the pros. So Sprout Social is really a powerful social media management tool that supports many platforms, and it's very easy to use, okay? We love the fact that their UI is very clean, and the quick access buttons on the right-hand side are incredibly useful cutting back on the number of clicks you need to make for common actions. This is really good. They have stellar as they have a stellar publishing tool that makes it easy to schedule multiple posts at once and you can schedule them for when audiences are most active. You can also pre-configure specific times of the week you would like to publish to each social media platform and this is really great for easy scheduling, okay? Maybe Wednesdays are good for you or Fridays or Sundays or whatnot. It really depends on you. And we love also the tagging feature. So on Sprout Social, the tagging feature is great for internal organization, especially when you combine it with custom views. It's also a great addition to the app's team-based features, something Sprout Social thrives at. And we also love the fact that uh, you can use the app to, to uh, find content to repost, okay? Even uh, including a Feedly integration, so you can view feeds you follow from within the app's interface and share content on the spot. We also love uh, employee uh, employee team morale, if you will, okay, or team productivity. So you can build your brain through uh, team morale. They, they have something called Bamboo by Sprout Social that gives your employees a simple way to share curated content, curated content across their social networks so you can amplify reach, increase engagement, and attract more qualified sales leads. So this is really good. So this is for the pros. What about the cons? Well, the thing here is that the, you, you basically um, have the, the publishing tool can be improved a lot. It can be improved. So for instance, if you're scheduling a post to Twitter and Sprout Social, the text box you use to compose your post will only showcase Twitter's word count limit of 280 characters. You can't just switch over to Meta, for instance, to write an optimized post for that platform like you can with other tools that like we have reviewed other tools including social b for instance okay and we also see that uh, sprout social can be a little bit uh, hard to learn at the beginning for beginners i mean to the, the, you, you need to actually invest some time at the beginning to understand how the tools work okay also their collections features can be uh, collections feature can be improved okay and uh, th the thing is that you cannot use the social listening tool as a free trial user without requesting a demo okay this is unfortunate because Sprout social does not offer refunds so you'll need to pay money you won't get back to use this tool to its fullest potential and Sprout social is not cheap speaking about not not cheap let's talk about the pricing here Now, Sprout Social has three plans that determine the number of profiles you can manage and which features you have access to. So this is something you need to think about. It's all about your resources, your needs, okay, the social media platforms you're on, the kind of target audience you are actually, uh, the kind of target audience you are going after. So with three plans. The first is the standard plan. So this plan supports five profiles, though you can purchase additional profiles for a nominal fee without having to upgrade to the professional plan. Okay, this is important. And uh, the thing is that the plan also include basic features for Sprout Social's core functionalities. I would say if you are an entrepreneur, if you have, uh, if you have fewer than five people in your team, you want to go for the, the basic 
the basic plan, the, the, the standard plan rather, because you don't need that many profiles. But the one thing you need to understand is that the professional and advanced plans each support 10 profiles with more available for purchase, and they cost a little more per user, okay? And this price is dropped to uh, a certain amount. Again, folks, you can see everything on the on the screen. We're not giving price. We are not giving prices here because, depending on the time you listen to this show, the price may have changed. So it's always better to con to actually go to the website and uh, avail yourself of the latest prices. But just know that there are three tiers: the standard, the professional, and uh, and then you have the advanced plan. Okay. And one thing I want to say here is that professional is the most popular plan that Sprout Social has to offer because it adds competitive reports for Instagram, Twitter, and, Fa and uh, Facebook meta, tagging for message content, custom workflows for team members to follow, having the tools schedule your post, uh, your post, uh, you can have the tools that you need to use to schedule your post when your audience is most active. You can actually analyze reports for your team's uh, response rate, analytics for Twitter keywords and hashtags, and integrations. Okay. Bottom line is that Sprout Social has a free 30-day free trial, so you can try without entering a credit card. And demos are also available. I want to talk about a recap here. So let's quickly recap. So when we talk about Sprout Social, I want you to keep in mind, this is a powerful social media platform. No doubt about it. They do have uh, countless, uh, they have countless uh, features that we love. And we love the fact that your team, you and your team can use those features to optimize your social media marketing strategy and expedite the publishing process. And that's what it should be for. Okay. Unfortunately, Sprout Social does have its drawbacks, some of which make, make it uh, unsuitable for a number of businesses. The, big, the biggest culprit, in our view, after analyzing this uh, tool extensively, is cost. Okay. You can see that you probably may have noticed that in the pricing section, Sprout Social plans are, they are on a per user basis. Think about that. This is really, uh, this is, you know, so while similar tools offer more users on higher plans or discounted prices for additional users, Sprout Social charges a minimum of $99 per month per user. Think about it. $99 per month. That's, that's really. So this adds up to $990 per month if you have 10 users and you can, you only get access to five profiles. So if you have the resources you may want to go for this okay features that we there are some features that we actually uh that we have actually analyzed that were all they were only available in top tier plans for example the asset library competitive reports scheduling posts at optimal times and tagging are only available in top tier plans okay so having said that if you have the resources Sprout Social will make an, uh, a great addition to your marketing strategy. You just need to be able to justify the cost, okay? Uh, otherwise, there are other social media management tools that we have reviewed. And uh, I was talking to you about Social uh, Social B. You have uh, uh, Agora Pulse. You have other players out there that I'm not going to talk about in today's show, but I will be uh, reviewing this on uh, other shows. But so the bottom line is that make sure that you, you have... Uh, you need what Sprout Social offers, and you have the resources to pay for to pay for the platform. If you can do it, if you uh, if the cost justify the rewards, then I would say yeah, go ahead because you'll be getting the best of the best. It's a great platform. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about Sprout Social, and uh, so I gave you an overview: the features, the publishing, the intel, the pros and cons, the pricing, and the summary. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.